Right, with us we have Dan Craven, the winner of this year's National Cycling Championships. Dan winning by quite a far margin, um, four and a half minutes. Just tell us a bit about your race there. Uh, well, I didn't actually know what the final gap was. Um, it was 135 kilometers for Namibian standards. It was a good field of riders. And um, I only arrived yesterday from Europe, so I was really nervous, you know, still being extremely tired from the travel and not accustomed to the altitude, which usually is a big thing for me. And um, so I was really, really conservative in the first half of the race. And with about yeah, half of the race, I almost accidentally got a little gap, sort of someone didn't chase me and I looked back and I had a small gap so I thought I'll just sort of stretch my legs see what happened uh, knowing that if the guys chased me that the bunch would split up uh, which is exactly what I wanted to happen and um, then I just put my head down and no one actually ever came across to me so I just kept going and then after I got the initial gap then they had to the guys behind had to sort of start racing for second place um, so, you know, we just kind of slowed them down for tactics into the game for them, which allowed me to, to get that big gap. Great. And what does this mean to you? Also coming all back all the way from Europe to do this race. Yeah, so there was, there was a bit of pressure on me, sort of placed by myself, uh, you know, by coming all the way out from Europe, sort of putting the target on my back. And winning the race, sort of having a victory on the tally for the year isn't you know, massive. I mean, it's a, it's a race in Namibia in the bigger scheme of professional cycling. Unfortunately, that really doesn't mean much. But I do get to wear the Namibian champions jersey for the entire year. And that's the sole reason that I came. Uh, the, the ability to represent Namibia in every single race that I do, like wearing different colors, special colors, uh, standing out for Namibia, you know, hopefully doing my bit for <coughs> Namibian tourism and making people aware that Namibia exists because obviously Namibia isn't the most well-known country in the world and um, so I'm really excited and really proud to be able to wear the stripes in Europe. Great and Dan you're also now um, preparing for the African Championships coming up in two weeks in South Africa and if we look back at the previous one you've got a silver medal how do you think it will go this time? Well, African cycling is growing every single year and the standard just comes on in leaps and bounds, gets so much better every single year. So it's going to be harder than in the past and, um, you know, I've got a big target of, of trying to do well there. The Namibian team is also getting stronger every single year, so we're going to have a good team. Um, I'm hoping that you know, we can pull another medal out of the bag. Great, and just tell us how's it going with you with Team Europe, Carl? Fantastic. My French is coming along pretty swiftly, which is pleasing. I uh, still have to do a lot of work, but I really integrated well in the team. Um, the French guys have really sort of accepted me, which I, I was really nervous about. I didn't know it was going to happen or not. And so I'm just absolutely loving it. Just sort of yep. having only been there for such a short time, I already feel part of the family. And that's one of the things about Team Europe, Carl. In comparison to the other professional teams, it's got a real family vibe to it. So the fact that I've been able to integrate into that family vibe is just sort of, it makes me really happy. So can we expect to see you at this year's Tour de France? Oh, <laughs> well, the 26 guys on my team and only nine get to do the Tour de France. And obviously, being the biggest race, it'll only be the best nine riders. So, you know... I want to be the best I can be, so I'll be working towards, you know, being on the long list, and it would be an absolute dream come true, but it's, it would definitely not be easy.